came to a small mining town for my latest investigation. There was an accident in one of the mines, but the manager has expressed doubts. I hope this case will be worthwhile. Ah, detective. Glad to see you. Come into my office. Hello, my name is Margaret. I'm the manager of these mines. I'm the one who sent out the request. Nice to meet you. I'm Detective John Woodbray. I thought what happened at the mine was an accident. Yes, that's the official story. A pile of rocks fell on a miner due to an unsteady bucket. But from what I understand of the case, you think that it could be a murder? Yes. When we found Henry's body, there was a pistol lying next to him. It doesn't make any sense. There must have been a reason he had it out. Agreed. That does sound suspicious. How can I get to the crime scene? I'll give you a pass for the elevator leading into the mines. Our engineer will meet you below. He will guide you. He's a little quirky. Don't be intimidated by the way he speaks. I dare say these days I'm not easily intimidated. Good. That'll serve you well in the mines. If I've answered all your questions... I'll be taking my leave. I have some things to do. Certainly. Thank you. I'll take it from here. The town turned out to be larger than I expected. I won't be able to take a quick look around here. Impressive workshop. Perhaps I'll... Hello, I'm Detective Woodbray. I've been told that you can help me. Wow, a real detective. Came to investigate the accident. Came to investigate. Do you think that it was an accident? No, no. Caves. The caves took him. It happened before. The caves will never stop. No. There was another fatal accident five years ago, correct? Can you tell me more about it? The caves took him. They will never stop. No one investigated that case. No one investigated that case. Well, okay. How can I get to the site of the recent accident? You can get there by a hand car. Hand car! But its tank is empty. Empty. There's a barrel of fuel in the workshop upstairs. Is there a jerry can there? I can take some fuel from the barrel and bring it here. Jerry can? No. Jerry can, no. I'll give you the key to the boiler room. There might be a jerry can there, but not in the workshop, no. Curious fellow.
I need to find a suitable container for fuel. Right! You'll get to the right place. It looks like this is the right place. But where's the body? I told them it was important not to touch anything. Everything is as Margaret described. I need to go back to the carriage for a fingerprint kit to find out who fired the gun. The cable is almost new and very strong. Someone cut it. Someone fired, but the bullet struck high. Either they weren't a sharp shot, or that's exactly where they were aiming.
Judging by the prints, this gun belonged to the deceased. This death doesn't appear accidental. Someone triggered the collapse to kill Henry. But who? What was Henry shooting at before his death? I need to talk to someone from his brigade. Good afternoon, Detective. I'm Robin, and this is my colleague Steve. John Woodbray. To what do I owe the honor? We came as soon as we knew you had arrived in our city. We're from Henry's Brigade. Ah, good. I wanted to ask you a few questions. Well, we don't really know much. It all happened when we were already upstairs. It seems that Henry returned because he forgot something. Was he alone in the mines? Yes, but maybe not. Yes or no? What do you mean? He means the ghost. Robert, don't go bothering serious people with that nonsense. Please, tell me more. We have been hearing rustling and whispering for a long time now. We see some shadows and the light blinks. You believe it to be a ghost? Yes. A guy died in the mines five years ago. We believe he has returned to take us with him. What do you mean by us? Our brigade. Me, Robert, Henry, Jacob, and our foreman, Michael. I see. Can you tell me about Jacob and Michael? Where can I find them? Jacob lives on 37 Central Street. The foreman lives at the pier. We don't know exactly where. Okay, thank you. I will ask you not to leave the city during the investigation. And please be careful. Ghost or no, you may indeed be in danger. Well, I'll start by searching for Jacob. Good afternoon. Is anyone home? Jacob? Silence. It'll be difficult to open the front door. I'll try to get into the house from the backyard. Jacob may have been the first to die. I need to take him down from the rope. I guess Michael is the foreman. Apparently he doesn't believe in ghosts. This is a strong sleeping pill. Why would someone choose such a difficult method of suicide if you could simply take an overdose?
the same handprint that was in the mine. I don't think this was an accident. There's no object near the body the deceased could have used to hang himself. It seems that the current events are somehow connected to the events that happened five years ago. Jacob's suicide looks fake. He was accused of murder five years ago. I think this may be connected.
Another death. It could be Foreman Michael. How can I get down there? Can I get there by boat? The lift mechanism is broken. Judging by the handprint, this wasn't an accident. Those two miners said that their foreman lived at the pier. He probably lives in one of these houses. And there's a boat. I'll try to negotiate with the captain, Captain S. Hello, my name is John. I came to investigate the death of a miner. Yes, I heard. Someone was killed by a rock fall. I need to get into the gorge under the bridge, not far from the lighthouse. Can you take me there by boat? Haven't you seen the weather? A storm's coming, and there are rocky shores in these parts. So no, I'm not taking you on a boat ride. Too risky. The place is very close and has a flat, sandy bank. I'll pay you well. You can save your money and swim there if you think you know these waters better than I do. All right, I don't mean to offend. I have another proposal. Would you mind lending me your rope ladder? That's another matter. You should have started with that. How about you bring me a treat to lift my spirits? For example, a bottle of rum. And I'll give you my ladder in gratitude. Greetings. Haven't seen a cutie like you here in a long time. You're clearly not a miner or fisherman. What brought you here? Oh, uh, thank you. I'm investigating a mining incident. Oh, poor Henry. He and his brigade often spent time in our bar. Is it possible someone could mean them harm? Have you heard about any conflict going on? No, I haven't heard anything of the sort. None of them struck me as violent or cruel. Their brigade was very friendly. Could they have crossed the wrong person? I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is the grandfather of the miner who died five years ago it may still harbor a grudge. He works as an engineer in the same mine. The old man who speaks strangely. That's the one. But he seems like a good guy to me. He raised two grandsons after their parents died. I didn't know about that. Thank you. Actually, I've been meaning to ask another question. Do you sell bottles of rum? Yeah, 35 coins. Here you go. It's one of our best. <laughs> now we're talking. Take the ladder. I think this is the key to the foreman's house. I need to look for clues there. The home decor is modest. The foreman wasn't often home. What do these symbols mean? Some strange paint. The guy on the right is the victim of the accident that happened five years ago. They look so friendly. Who would wish them harm?
It's a pity that the letter was never sent. If the recipient came here, things would be a little easier for me. I saw gears in the attic. Perhaps I can use some of them to raise the bridge. Michael stubbornly strove for the lighthouse. I need to get inside and find out what drew him there. Maybe I can find something here that will help me get to the lighthouse.
turns out that the lighthouse keeper is the same engineer from the mines, the grandfather of the miner who died five years ago. These are the same symbols that were on the wall in the foreman's house and his letter. Someone was transmitting messages from the lighthouse. To whom? It's still unclear to me who is behind these murders. It really seems like this could be the ghost of the dead miner. I have questions for the old engineer. I'll find out from the mine management where to find him. Nice to see you again. I hope you didn't get lost. Is there any news on the investigation? I found another body. The deceased was a member of Henry's brigade. His name was Jacob. Oh, it's looking less and less like an accident. Rats! What do you think about it? I would like to know all the details about the case that happened five years ago. So far, this seems to be the only clue. I wasn't working here then. As far as I know, there was a collapse but the Brigade managed to escape miraculously. Everyone except for one miner. Was he the grandson of the engineer who met me? Yes. He started working in the mines at the age of 18. He wanted to help his grandfather. The old engineer buried him right there in the mines. I think that was the reason for the rumors about the ghost. Is it possible to access that part of the mines? Yes, I'll give you the key to the tunnel leading that way. That direction was blocked after the accident. You'll have to be careful there, you know. Of course. I would also like to speak with your engineer again. Where can I find him? I'll ask him to come to the workshop. Though, if you suspect him, I think you do so in vain. What makes you say that? He's not quite right, as you may have noticed. He can barely walk, and his vision is poor. Not to mention the rest. It is unlikely he's capable of harming anyone. Then it sounds like I can question him without worrying him. Thank you.
I'll examine the grave. If it's a supernatural matter, there might be some clues there. There's a whole labyrinth here. I'll have to drive around before I find the grave. A tragic sight. Why is there a chest here? What's in it? An account of the deceased. He was hanging on a rope, and then the pile of rocks fell on him. Exactly what happened to the other miners. I think the remaining miners from his brigade are in danger. I need to talk to an engineer urgently. It's you, detective. You again, detective. You were looking for me. Yes. I understand this is a delicate topic, but I need to know. The note detailing your grandson's death, is that account true? I believe it's true. He suffered before his death. Poor soul. Poor soul. It seems to me there is a distinct possibility that his ghost is taking revenge on his former colleagues. Do you want to tell me that nobody was guilty of his death? His death? And he is guilty of their deaths. 
He is guilty. When he died, everyone said it was an accident. What makes it a murder all of a sudden? You're saying that the killer is a ghost. It looks like it. This ghost tries to make his colleagues feel everything he experienced before he died in the cave. That's nonsense. My brother was a kind and good person. He wouldn't take revenge on anyone. Quiet, boy. Boy. The detective knows what he's doing. He knows. I have reason to believe all living members of his brigade are in danger. Robert's usually at the bar, on the pier around this time. I'll hurry there. I need to make sure that he's not in danger. What about Steve? I'll find him. He was friends with my brother. We still communicate. We'll shelter him at our home. Okay, I'll head straight from the pier to you. Where do you live? Near the shore. Not far from the foreman's house. I need to find Robert in the bar on the pier urgently. He might be in danger. This should be the old man's house. Did something happen? Can I help you? Have you seen Robert, the miner? He came in for a drink about 20 minutes ago. He seemed off to me, like he was nervous about something. He was looking out the window and then at the door and then out the window again. Any idea what might have scared him? I didn't see or hear anything. I considered it immodest to ask him. Then he jumped up and left without finishing his rum. Thank you. I'll take a quick look around and then be on my way. Oh no. Am I too late? I hope it's not a body, but there were lines in the notes of the deceased that he almost drowned. is covered in blood. They hit more than once. It's Robert. He was stunned by a blow to the head and thrown into the water. And this handprint again. I wasn't able to save Robert, but I could still save Steve. I need to get to the old man's house. He and his grandson were going to invite Steve there. Is anyone home? I thought they'd already be here. This is suspicious. I think I should pick the lock. I need something like a hook. Why has everything been overturned on the table? And the chair is lying on the floor. It looks like there was a fight here. Another handprint. Am I too late again? I need to open this door urgently. Someone crossed out the dead. Is it really a spirit in someone else's body again? But whose exactly?
It's unlikely that the relatives of the deceased were included in this scheme. Most likely his family was left with nothing.
Who's that? Is it you again? Uh, detective! It's a trap! Detective? I'm very sorry that I have to say goodbye to you too, even though you weren't on the list of the damned. Detective! It was him! He knocked me out! I woke up here tied up. I'm sorry I cut you into this. It's okay. Try to breathe as little and shallowly as possible. We have to get out of here. There never was a ghost. The family of the deceased took revenge on his former colleagues in a conspiracy. The grandfather must be the brains of the operation, while the brother is the muscle. We need to get out of here. This window is our main chance of survival. We still need to reach it. Let's try to move the rack. Oh, a bucket of oil. Maybe we can move the rack if we slick the floor underneath it. The case is solved and the criminals punished. If I hadn't been so shocked by my past experience, I could have saved another life, but I still managed to save one. I wasn't sent here in vain. I needed a reminder that there are plenty of villains among the living. I feel that now I am ready to take on any task and succeed. <laughs>